thing you want to do when you're done live streaming is edit your post. <gasps> you can even do a custom frame. So oh I my can actually, gosh. you can create a graphic on Canva and do a cover. <gasps> Amazing. So you can make it look super pretty. Um, I find that I think more people will click though if they actually kind of see more of like an action shot, <laughs> you know, <laughs> than like a cover photo. So um, yeah, definitely don't want that, right? Let's see what else we got. Definitely don't want that. No one's going to click on that. <laughs> no, that's like where I was showing them how to order the product. Um, that's not too bad. Very nice. That's not too bad. I like to do funny ones where I'm like, yeah. hey, you know, but again, it's like, oh, what is she saying? You know, yeah. um, that leg is a horrible face right there. <laughs> this is the one, this is the one that I picked. Oh, that's a good one. Of it's, course. Of course. It's like a nice action shot where I'm like holding the, the actual sale item right up to the camera. You know, you want to think about what are people going to click on? And sometimes the silly face is, you know, where it looks like you're saying something, but that was like the perfect shot. So first thing you do, edit your thumbnail. So it's not, you know, you looking down or <laughs> some crazy photo. Um, add your hashtags. So I go back, I add my hashtags. So, you know, again, I'm tar targeting Labor Day weekend sales and that's people are going to be searching for coupon codes, Labor Day sales, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag party light. Then I went back in and added a video title. Now you notice the video title is different than what's in the actual post. Mm, interesting. Gosh, this is so good. Oh, good. So your, <laughs> your video title is, this is where your keywords are. This is where if people are searching, mm -hmm. You again remember your business page is public. It's indexed by Google, as in searchable by Google. So you think of your video title almost like a blog title. It's you want to have keywords loaded in there. So obviously, people searching party light, that's my first word. Searching party light Labor Day weekend sale, and trust me. People that are, you know, love party light candles are going to be on Google this weekend saying, oh, is there a party light Labor Day weekend sale? <laughs> <laughs> and so that's why that's the title of my video. And then add your tags. Tags also lets Facebook know what your content is about. Again, it's all about getting found in organic search. So I tagged home decorating ideas, I tagged party light, and I tagged party light candles. And you can just tag if you're not sure what I'm talking about. So you can um, tag, uh, like you can tag Jamberry. Here's Jamberry. You just start typing and it will automatically come up if there's a tag for it. Your Jamberry nails. Nope, just Jamberry. How about... Um, Let's say online. Well, online. Oh, there you go. Online shopping. I'm going to add that as a tag right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, um, I mean, there's other things that you can do. You can. There's there's your embed. So if you want to embed this somewhere, if you have if you're blogging, you can actually embed your Facebook Live in a blog, right in a blog post. You can also download it if you didn't mm. know that. So, and you know, anytime you see these, right from there, that's yeah. good. We've had to like jerry rig it, like go to the mobile site, then click on the URL link, and then go over here, and then download it, and you can do it right from here. That's amazing. Yeah. So anytime you see these little geary things, click on them. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually where the good stuff is. So yeah, a lot of people don't know you can actually download your Facebook Live and then repurpose it. Maybe take uh, 15 yep. seconds of it and pop it on your Instagram. So I do that a lot. I will repurpose and, again, cross-promote over your social media channels. Instagram videos, if you don't know, are a max of 15 seconds. So you could do uh, take a 15-second loop out of it and then, again, cross-promote. Your Instagram post would be watch the whole show over on Facebook Use your at symbol at lens candles and home decor. So that's one way you can use, you know, cross promote over your social channels.